Hello guys, welcome back to with Shroud Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix iPhone flashlight is not working and how to fix this app. So let's get started. So first thing what you have to do when you're having this issue is you just have to check for any kind of apps which is running in the background. You just have to search for any apps running in the background. If any apps running in the background, you have to force quit camera and such other apps. You just have to quit it up. You just have to throw it away and you just have to clear all the apps which is running in the background. This is the first step what you have to do. Moving on to the next step is all about you have to make sure that your iPhone is charged. When you are having the flashing light issue, make sure that your iPhone is completely charged. Moving on to the step 3 which is all about restart or force reboot your iPhone as you can see that I'm using 10s Max. So if you wanted to do a restart, you can do most probably I used to say this because in some cases you know in even in iPad the reboot is always sometimes a solution a great solution so you just have to reboot it you have to for that you have to press volume up followed by volume down button then you have to press power button all together so this is what you have to do to make a force reboot right this is what you have to do and that is a solution for that and also break I always used to say that sometimes you know force reboot is an easy solution not only for iPhone but also for the iPad. So sometimes you you have to try for that because it can bring an ultimate solution. So this is what when it comes to force reboot. And next one is all about getting the latest version of iOS. Sometimes if anything doesn't working in your iPhone or if it start behaving misbehaving, all you have to do is just go to settings and from here you just have to scroll down and you just have to tap on general. You have to tap on general. Then you just have to tap on software updates and check for any kind of updates are there. As you can see that I have already updated to iOS 14, but now the 14.4 public beta is available where we can go for that. If you want to do, just go for the updates. For the time being of video, I'm not going to show that part. And moving on to the next one is all about resetting all iPhone settings. So to do this, you just have to go to first. You just have to go to settings, and from here you just have to go to general, and from here you have to scroll down and you just have to click on reset then go for reset all settings you have to go for reset all settings give the respective passcode to make sure it and it will be done so this is what you have to do so these are some of the possible workarounds which you have to try and moving on i would like to make you notice is something if all after trying all these things after trying all these things most probably this used to fix the issue up because we have checked in all the things like you know reddit and everything even apple support some of these methods help with some of the users so make sure that even if it's not figuring out you can meet an expert from the apple showrooms and you can talk to them and that's all about it so if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification and this is shahin officially signing off from get tips keep practice social distance be safe and stay safe